You are coming from a world with very limited uh, exchange of information across countries and there have been increasing concerns about the fact that uh, people might be hiding money in tax havens and end up not paying taxes, uh, about the fact that multinational firms may be avoiding taxes uh, using tax havens. Um, the evidence supporting this is actually limited, but uh, it is important to clarify these issues uh, and I think that the initiative to increase transparency and information exchange is of key importance to bring about uh, just that evidence. So my expectations for the future would be that the process of moving towards more fiscal transparency will continue uh, and um, uh, will lead to a situation where we simply understand better what, what is going on in tax havens and in international taxation in general. We should remind ourselves though that there is still a long way to go. Uh, this process has just started, uh, but uh, I, I'm optimistic that it will proceed. I think that the Global Academy is very well placed to bring together policymakers, uh, practitioners from the private sector, from different countries, uh, to discuss these issues in seminars. Uh, I would prefer seminars uh, in relatively small groups of 20 to 40 people. Uh, I think this is a very fruitful way of, of engaging in the debate and having focused debates that really bring progress and new insights for both academia and policymakers. And uh, I think that uh, research on these issues will benefit very much. I also think that an important aspect of this is going really beyond the European Union and in integrating, uh, going global as the Academy does, and integrating people from the US and uh, you know, from tax haven countries. and. Uh, places outside Europe.